subscribe to my channel and press bell icon for latest updates. Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Raghuveer. In this class, we will discuss about Laplace smoothing in naive base. Uh, so this is an extension class we already discussed about naive base model and general intuition of naive base and uh, the basic mathematics required for naive base so based on the assumption that you have already watched those classes because the data set which we use here and the equations which we are using here you already watched those classes you already know those equations based on that assumption we are dealing with this class okay so if you haven't watched those classes, please watch those classes and come back here. Coming to Laplace smoothing, first we have to understand what Laplace smoothing is in a general example. Then we will apply this Laplace smoothing to our naive base model. So let's take an example and understand why we need Laplace smoothing. So take a football match. This is the data set uh, data we are using. Take a football match. What this data meaning is? T1 is a team, T1 is a team played with T2 and it lost the game. 0 means it lost the game. Who lost, who lost the game? T1 lost the game. T1 played with T5 and it lost the game. T1 played with T6 and it lost the game. T1 played with T7 and it lost the game. T1 played with T8 and it lost the game. T1 played with T9. What is the probability that this T1 will win. That is what we have to identify. Okay. What we have to identify here. What is the probability that T1 win on T9? That is what we have to identify. So based on this data, how we identify the probability that T1 win on T9 is based on this data, number of hash means number of matches T1 won divided by number of matches t1 won plus number of matches t1 lost this is how we calculate the probability so number of matches t1 won is equal to 0 divided by number of matches it won is equal to 0 plus number of matches it lost is equal to 5 0 by 0 plus 5 so what's the probability we are giving here 0 because t1 has lost all the games before based on that can you say that uh, this match t1 will not win can you give a zero probability for that zero means it will it won't win the game that is what zero means can you say that no we have to give some small value small probability so that's why we use laplace smoothing here so understand the problem carefully because t1 has lost all the games before based on that can you say that t1 will not win on the t9 no we cannot say zero we have to give some small probability chances is very less that's what we have to say but what we got here we got any formula using that we got a zero value so that we have to add laplace smoothing here so what laplace smoothing do is for each value add 1 0 plus 1 by 0 plus 1 0 means here number of matches 1 plus 1 plus number of matches lost plus 1 this is what laplace smoothing is adding 1 to all the values so what value you will get 1 by 7 some small probability value we are giving this is what laplace smoothing is now apply our laplace smoothing to naive base in naive base in our last class we already discussed that probability of ck is equal to 1 means positive class probability of getting into positive class given feedback feedback means set of words this feedback is testing feedback given testing feedback what is the probability that the words in the testing feedback belongs to positive class that's what we have to identify for to identify this this is the equation which we already derived this equation probability of ck is equal to 1 pi i is equal to 1 to n probability of word i belongs to ck is equal to 1 what's the meaning is probability of word i belongs to positive class so how we calculate this probability of word i belongs to positive class the same equation for negative class this also we already discussed how we calculate the probability of word i belongs to ck is equal to 1 means positive class how we calculate is number of positive feedbacks 
contain word i so suppose 200 feedbacks are there in positive class out of the 200 positive feedbacks how many feedbacks contain the word i so that's the count suppose 10 suppose 10 feedbacks contain the word i 10 divided by total number of positive feedbacks that is equal to 200 for suppose in testing feedback if a word x word w i is not there in any of the positive feedbacks this example shown before if the testing feedback testing in the testing feedback if the word i is not there in any of the positive feedbacks what will happen we will get 0 by 200 so is it reasonable to give probability 0 to that word no because word is not found in any of the positive feedbacks is it reasonable to give probability 0 probability 0 means this word not belongs to positive class that's the meaning of probability 0 means okay so that's why we have to give some small value we have to add laplace smoothing here the same concept applied here we have to give some small value so what's the equation for laplace smoothing here is so number of uh, positive feedbacks contain word i this is 0 value is 0 divided by 200 we are adding alpha plus alpha k here what is alpha means alpha is equal to 1 k is equal to number of classes number of classes means we are doing two class classification if you are doing five class classification k value will be 5 if you are doing 10 class classification k value will be 10 so why alpha value will be 1 is it any reason that alpha should be 1 no there is no reason why why we have given alpha is equal to 1 means uh, there is a in our next class we will clearly analyze why we have given alpha is equal to 1 is it uh, the constant value or we can change these values what's the effect that occur on the models if you change the alpha value all these concept means overfitting underfitting all these concepts will be discussed based on this alpha so it's very very important so remember why we are using alpha is equal to 1 for understanding purpose we have said here alpha is equal to 1 but in reality we don't use alpha is equal to 1 we have to identify the best alpha so which alpha is chosen as best alpha will be discussed in our next class hope you understand the concept if you have any questions regarding the concept please post your questions in the comment section below thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed to our channel please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates thank you